In this equation, we have N2H4 plus O2. That's hydrazine plus oxygen gas. Let's add all of the atoms up on each side and then balance the equation. We have two nitrogens, four hydrogens, and then two oxygen atoms on the reactant side. On the product side, we have one nitrogen, two hydrogens, and then two oxygens. But we need to make sure we count this oxygen here as well, so we have one more. That gives us a total of three oxygen atoms. Let's leave the oxygens till last. They might just work out. And let's fix the nitrogens, because we could put a two in front of the NO2. One times two, that would balance the nitrogen atoms. Then we need to update the oxygens. So now we have two times two, that's four, plus we have the one in the water, that gives us five oxygen atoms. All right, let's fix the hydrogens. If we put a two in front of the H2O, two times two, that'll give us four, and then we need to update the oxygens again. So now we have two times two, that's four, plus one times two, that gives us two. That's six, and that's an even number. That makes this really easy because we have two here, put a coefficient of three, two times three, that gives us six, and we're done. This equation's balanced. One of the keys with this is if you leave the oxygens till last, that's usually a pretty good strategy when balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for N2H4 plus O2. Thanks for watching.